no payment card is right for every one or every situation, but a general purpose reloadable prepaid card could be a solution if you don't have a credit card or a checking account debit card, or if you want to give someone, say a teenager or college student, a way of paying with plastic without the risk of overspending. Prepaid cards aren't the same as credit or debit cards, but they do offer advantages for some consumers. First, a reloadable prepaid card doesn't require a credit check, so it's easy to get. It can generally be used at restaurants, stores, and online. And it may offer you the option to pay bills online or by phone. But not all prepaid cards are alike. Some don't offer all the features and services you might want, and others charge a lot of fees, making them a potentially expensive option. If you've decided that a prepaid card might be right for you, you'll need to do a little research to select the best one. In the next couple of minutes, I'll explain what to look for and what to be aware of in a reloadable prepaid card and how to monitor and manage your card wisely. By the end of this video, you'll have a good idea how to select the right card for you and how to avoid gotchas. There are dozens of reloadable prepaid cards to choose from. So, how do you narrow down your options? Even though you can buy a prepaid card at many grocery stores and other retailers, the best place to start your search is online. Consider only those cards that offer the features and services you want, are accepted by the businesses where you shop, are easy and convenient to use and reload, protect your money, clearly disclose all fees and terms, and offer account management tools. For example, if free text alerts will help you keep track of your balance, look for a card with that service. And don't be swayed by celebrity endorsements or a sleek design. Be sure to choose a card for its low cost, the useful features and benefits it offers, and how convenient it is to use. When you find the cards you like, visit issuers' websites to read the cardholder agreement and fee schedule. The information will be more detailed than what is printed on the card package or in an online offer. Make sure you understand exactly what the terms and conditions are. Then it's time to compare costs. Fees can eat away at your balance so the money may not be there when you need it. There are more than 15 different types of prepaid card fees. You can be charged from everything from card activation and monthly maintenance to customer service. There may even be a fee to close the card. But some cards are more consumer friendly than others with fewer and lower fees while still offering many useful features. To determine the true cost of any card, you have to calculate the fees you're likely to pay the way you plan to use the card. For example, if you travel outside the U.S. frequently, consider how much a currency conversion fee would cost. If you plan to use ATMs to get cash or to check your balance, add up those fees for a typical month. In addition to these types of usage fees, consider one-time fees for things like purchasing, activating, and closing the card. You also need to find out if there are ways to avoid certain fees altogether. For example, if using direct deposit allows you to avoid a monthly maintenance fee and you plan to have income directly deposited to your card each month, you won't have to factor that fee into your monthly cost. Lastly, consider any card services or benefits you would use that might save you money. Once you've chosen and received your card, check your account transaction history regularly. It's the best way to keep fees down and spot unauthorized use sooner rather than later. If you're paying fees you could avoid, consider changing your habits to reduce your card costs. For example, if your card allows you to get cash back when making a purchase at a grocery store or other retailer, you could avoid ATM cash withdrawal fees. To get cash back, choose debit. If checking your balance online is free, don't check it at the ATM where it may cost you. If the card issuer waives the monthly fee with a minimum balance, try to keep at least that much money on your card. If you think a reloadable prepaid card might be a good choice for you, visit Consumer Action's website where you can learn more about prepaid cards before making a decision. And if you haven't already seen our video, General Purpose Reloadable Prepaid Cards, view it now for more on how prepaid cards work and some of their pros and cons.
Explore other personal finance and consumer topics at consumer-action.org.